Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Derek here, uh, happy Thanksgiving to you. Uh, today we are back reacting to another episode of The Queen's Gambit. Um, I know you guys have been very impatient for this. Um, remember, it's like once a week, it's not once every day. It's just, you know, you, you gotta be patient. <laughs> They're coming, don't worry. Uh, last time on The Queen's Gambit, what happened? Um, last time on the Queen's Gambit, uh, Beth was adopted, so that's fun, and she didn't go to the perfect family because the the father of the home very much just did not want to be around her at all. Um, wasn't super thrilled with her being there, um, even though it was supposedly his idea. Um, but yeah, so she kind of went to a crappy home where... She was just kind of like on her own in a sense. Um, and then she get, went to a new school where she's just bullied all the time and she's not having fun until she learns about a local chess tournament. Uh, and this local chess tournament costs $5 to enter. So she writes to the janitor back home and he sends her the $5 and she goes to compete in this chess tournament. Turn, the, the, tournament uh and she's just clapping kids she's just she's they're all cheeks at this game so she's just destroying kids one by one just moving through them like they're water uh and then she has some weird like flirty tension with this older guy which you know if the ages of the characters are consistent with what they were described to be in the show that's a little messed up because he's in college and she's like 15 um you know maybe they should hold off until she's like four years older uh <laughs> but uh and then she uh plays beltic harry beltic um who is a lot of people i guess didn't realize this is played by the guy who played uh dudley dursley in uh harry potter <laughs> i recognized him immediately i was like hey that's dudley uh, other people apparently did not realize that. Um, so, you know, if you go back and, and see him, you're like, hey, that's Dudley. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she beats him and then, you know, everyone's having a grand old time. She wins a hundred dollars, goes on a shopping spree and is loving life. And then her new mom, who has been recently abandoned by either abandoned or he's in prison, um, by the husband is like, yo we're gonna go win all these chess tournaments and make bank because I no longer have anyone to give me money. Um, so that's their new plan, I guess. Uh, and that's that's where we left off last episode is, is them potentially starting Beth's um, chess career, I guess. Um, and hopefully it'll be fun. <laughs> uh, before we jump into the episode, please consider leaving a like on the video and please consider subscribing. Love it when that happens. Um, if you want to see the full-length reaction to this uh, episode, head down to my Patreon link below. Um, but otherwise, let's jump into the episode, shall we? Ooh, flashback. What happened with your mom, girl? And why'd she give you such a bad haircut? Bye-bye. <laughs> Going swimming. You're not allowed to come. <laughs> Don't touch my bag. I asked for a pleasant room, and I believe they gave me one. <laughs> oh, there are they going to be surprised to see a girl there too? Or are they going to be familiar with her? Kentucky State Champion. Nice to meet you. Is that the... There are two games a day, and the time control... No. I thought that was the science teacher from Stranger Things. Hours, but it's not. Years. That right there. Hey. That is a bone in the throat. Guy takes one look at this. I like him. He pays up 20 bucks. The Carol Con defense. Genuine bummer. He's in um, Maze Runner, and he's in the show Godless. Uh, he's in Game of Thrones. I forgot his name, but he's in, he's a cool dude. I take the night. 
I gotta go. Yeah, you know so what? I don't think she's very good at improvising. Jesse, he's playing like that. Yet. She's good at, uh, like, memorizing Girl. moves that already Being exist young. or that she's seen, but she's not very good at coming up with new ways to beat here? things. Playing too many opens it can only hurt me, you know what I mean? Good luck. That's rude. <laughs> He's like, I'm not, I'm too good for these scrub tournaments. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Beth Harmon. What? Is he mad that he's playing a girl, or does he know he's about to get clapped? <laughs> you destroy everyone you play, Harmon. I can only lose so much. <laughs> That's the truth. Dad, slow down! <laughs> Yo, she's just living the life. She gets to sit here in this hotel, watch TV, and drink while Beth learns chess she's just waiting there to play she's so early she just loves chess eh when he brought out his rook then took that pawn i thought you were done for i should have known better yes you should have <laughs> elizabeth I'm yeah are you idiots Sorry. i'm awesome at chess this is my mom like Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And I'm Matt. Mm. Mike and Matt. Nice to meet you. Oh, that little side I'm eye. She's like, hmm. People, but I'm you gonna date these boys? I don't. I don't think she has either of them, uh, in her eyes. Don't think uh, they're who she wants. What about Russia? Russia. The Soviets are murder. They eat Americans for breakfast over there. I don't think there's been an American with a prayer against them in 20 years. It's like ballet. Depends which Soviet. <laughs> you pick some 10 year old Soviet, you're gonna we kick his ass. Go. We don't want to be late. This one's for all the marbles. 500 of them to be exact. That's all she cares about is the money. He's a master. And that's me. <laughs> She's like, uh, do I clap now? I will have twelve dollars. I was thinking perhaps you could give me ten percent as an agent's commission. Let's make it fifteen percent. Oh, that's very generous. Which would be forty nine dollars and fifty four cents. I'm afraid she's had a bit of a relapse. The doctor wants to keep her in bed for a few more days. <sighs> You can't just I'm sure she'll be, be playing chess Monday. constantly. She's gonna burn herself out. <laughs> At a certain point, the school's gotta be like, yo. She's missed the last three months of school. She's gonna have to repeat this grade. <laughs> it's probably true. No, 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 that's illegal. You're not in international airways. <laughs> it's good. It's not. It's, it's super not good. It's, it's gross. Hey, that's the guy she plays at the in episode one. I should probably learn how to speak Russian. So she she plays a Russian guy. Do they teach that at at some point. No. Nah. When I was a girl, I wasn't allowed to be competitive. I played with dolls. That's because of uh, gender norms and your adherence to them. Yes. But chess can also be Beth, don't roll like that, girl. You're an orphan, Beth. That's rude. <laughs> yes, I know that. No, yes, of course you do. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. how you learned to play chess. Mr. Scheibel taught me. See, he was the janitor at Methuen. A janitor taught you how to play? Yeah. She's just the you saw dumbest person ever. And the queen is a mother. I mean, one no. to attack, one to protect. They're just pieces. And anyway, it was the board I noticed first. The board? Yeah, the pattern. She liked it. It's an, I feel safe 
in it. I can control it. I can dominate it. And it's predictable. Yeah, she's had so many changing things that she can't control in her life. She picked something that she could. Interesting. Creativity and psychosis often go hand in hand. He's saying she's psychotic? Genius and madness. Bruh. <laughs> think I'm crazy? No, of course not. I think that's enough. I think that's what she was saying. Beth has homework to finish. I'll let her meet you. This lady is straight up like, she brings up the, the possibility of a pattern that isn't there first. And then is like, I'll show you out. Oh, you, uh, you ever heard of this thing where people make up patterns and meanings? What I just did? I heard you're psychotic. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. She's famous, eh? He's at the chess club. Into the male dominated world of the nation's top chess tournaments, strolls a teenage girl with bright, intense eyes from Fairfield High School in Lexington, Kentucky. Yeet. She is quiet All them boys like her now. And out for blood. Why my Something tells me that uh, my brain sickness is going to play a larger part for that mom. What's up, bitch? We're having a pleasure party. Hey, excuse me? House. The other apple pies asked me to invite you. Yeah, that apple pie is about to catch these hands. Can you make it? No. Oh, you should go in your orphan clothes. Just piss her off even more. <laughs> the dress you got from the orphanage, wear that. Reclaim your identity as an orphan. After that lady tried to insert meaning upon it. What about the boys? What Are about them? Do you date any of them? I mean, they're all professional chess players, so... Probably not. Trade Brooks with... Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what's the uh, towns? I trade Brooks all the time, but it's not... <laughs> I bet you do. Yo, quit making fun of her. Just because she doesn't get all the lingo. Ah, oh, she's gonna get dropped. Oh, no! No! Well, I guess she has to develop this facet of her addiction at some point. You can't be stealing things like that. Yo, that's a dangerous combo. The pills on their own may be okay, but the pills and alcohol? Maybe it'll help her get creative with her chest moves. Chess is all consuming. I think that's what that shadow means. It is encompassing her entirely. Hopefully I'm right. If I'm just making stuff up like that stupid reporter, I'm gonna be real disappointed in myself. Dang, look at that CGI Las Vegas. Oof. The CGI uh, was a, a little rough there with their removal of certain buildings or creation of the environment entirely, but, you know. Hey, what it do, baby? My stars, you look... Older. Wow. Thanks. You're still like five years older than her, so chill, bud. I thought... <laughs> I should do something on you for the magazine. I was on the cover last month. I could do a half page on you for the Sunday paper. Won't be as big a deal as life. Yeah, sure. If you want to. I got a camera in my room. Neato. In your room. Chess boards, too. We could play. Okay. Or you could bring both of those down to the That's lobby fine. so there's no insinuation. And keep your shirt on, brother. Why don't you sit over by the window? Say, Rui Lopez. Who's Rui Lopez? <laughs> Who'd that be? Is that a famous chess player? You could go by the board. Mm, I'd stick to the table. Uh, towns. Okay. I see you've done this before. 
Don't know how I feel about this, Towns. I'm not sure I'm super thrilled with what he's doing right now. Because I can see where I think it's leading. I don't even know your first name. Everyone calls me Towns. She should still have the option <laughs> of calling you by your first name. Kyle. Anthony. Gerald, whatever your name is. Towns, brother. Ease up, son. Who would that be? Oh. Is that a friend? A boyfriend? Is he bi? This bitch is. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad that was uh, interrupted. Because, uh,. There was a, it was moving a little too quick and there was a little too much pressure there. Not so fast. She's just thinking about him. Did she want something more to happen or? Some people say he's the most talented American player since Morphe. I read about a game he played in Copenhagen, a draw against Nydorf. It was in 1948, which means that Benny was eight years old. I've seen a picture of him at 13 in front of a whole bunch of sailors. Dang, so he's he like against the entire team at Annapolis just as much of a South prodigy South as she is. He's even more of a prodigy. You sit in the castle in your game with Delta. Your problem is your queen knight. I don't want to set it up and think it out. She wants to play it right now. You can't just say things like that. Beltic could have beat me. But he didn't. What's worse is I didn't even see it. Benny Watts, just by reading about a player he knows nothing about, he picks it up. I was so proud of myself. It was like freaking battleships in her eyes. Interesting. Or not battleships, but like. So she's playing the whole game. Or all these opening moves, at least, before she even does anything. Is she gonna lose? I kinda hope she loses. I, I think she needs just a tiny, tiny little hit to her ego. Although maybe she kind of had a hit to her ego when he called her out for screwing up previously. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> but he took the piece just as I planned. I went he forced an exchange of queens. Oh, couldn't believe it. And then I saw what it meant. The more I looked, the worse it all became. It caught me completely off guard. It was brutal. It's the kind of thing I did to other people. The kind of thing that Morphe did, and I missed it. I've been thinking about nothing. This is the first time she's gonna lose. Benny boy is good at chess. You resign now. Tough game. Well, she had to lose eventually. Ooh, savage. And now you do too. I know how badly you wanted to beat Benny. Go get another shot. Doesn't matter. Give my best to Roger. Beth. Ooh. 
Ooh. She jealous of Roger? Is Roger like the a significant other for Towns? Is, is that the vibe I was getting? end of the episode. Okay, another solid episode ending with Beth getting taken down a peg, which I think she needed, honestly. She was she was riding too high. Um, so we had a brief flashback at the beginning to her swimming with her mom. Don't know the significance of that entirely yet, but um, you know, we're just, we're getting more and more info about her past as we go, so that's good. Um, yeah, and then just as, freaking as they play, they're going all these different tournaments, like, living the high life. The mom is loving it. She's like, I get to stay in all these fancy places. I get to drink tons of alcohol. She's just getting trashed on the daily. Uh, and it's not, it's not any of her money that they're spending. So it's like, she's, she's loving it, you know? They're talking to boys. She's like, you need to date these kids. You know, they're handsome. And, you know, Beth only has eyes for towns right now, I think. Um, but, you know, just they're playing tournament after tournament after tournament after tournament. You know, and she's clapping kids' cheeks the whole way through. She's destroying everyone, just making cash money at these tournaments. You know, living the freaking life. Uh, her her ma is like, oh, let's go get fancy dinners and manicures and pedicures and all these things. Let's spend this money you're earning. Like, we're living the life. Keeping this kid out of school. Being like, oh, she's sick. She's going to have to repeat 10th grade or whatever. <laughs> Although it, it seems like some time has passed. Like, it, it seems like a, at least a whole year has gone by of them doing this because... Um, she mentioned that she couldn't play in the U.S. Open the year previous uh, because of uh, her mom being sick. Um, so her mom probably got sick because of the drinking. Uh, her liver is just destroyed, probably. Um, but since she competed in her first tournament when she was, what, 15? Uh, she's probably at least 16 now, possibly 17 I don't think she's 18, but who knows? Um, she gets interviewed for a magazine or a paper, and this freaking interviewer just straight sucks, bro. She's awful. She's like, you, hey, remember how you're an orphan? Turns out you also might be crazy. <laughs> I was like, what? Why are you saying these things to me? And she's like, yeah, yeah. Uh, is it possible that you like chess because of your dead parents and you thought that you know, a queen to protect you and a king to protect you, like, that. Ah, haha, meanings. And she's like, no, they're just pieces. And then she's, the reporter's like, well, have you heard of this disease where you insert meaning when there, where there is none? Like what I just did. You might have that. <laughs> it's like, no, lady, you're the crazy one. Quit trying to tell her she's psychotic. <laughs> oh man, and then she goes back to school all these kids want her autograph. They start a chess club. You know, she is living the freaking life. She's enjoying it a lot. And then these stupid girls that were mean to her are like, come join our dumb apple pie club and we can, you know, talk about boys and listen to music videos. It's just like, ugh. She doesn't understand anything you guys are talking about and you're making fun of her. You didn't even notice when she left. Like, <sighs> like all they wanted to know was about the shenanigans that happen at all, at all these tournaments and none of the shenanigans have happened shenanigans almost happened later and then Towns' boyfriend shows up <laughs> but uh no 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 uh she starts her drinking habit which is not excellent uh drinking and pills mixed together no muy bueno Mas mal. Uh, yeah, but she goes, to, she goes to Vegas. Towns invites her to his room. And 
is taking pictures of her and it's just it, it was kind of a weird vibe if i'm honest like seemingly i think they might they're supposed to maybe have it be presented that they have some romantic vibes but like given the fact that he's like multiple years older than her and she's still a minor from what i believe um it, it was just weird it was just a weird vibe um and he's taking pictures with her and he's like flirting hard and he's like come over to the bed and it's like nah, i see where this is leading please stop <laughs> uh she didn't seem to hate it though um and then he's touching her hair and they were giving each other longing looks like they're about to like make out or something and then in walks uh what's his face roy or richard uh, whatever the guy's name was um and he strolls out in his short shorts and is like i'm gonna go play a game i'll be back <laughs> it's like okay so maybe these two are together possibly either they're friends or they're together and if they're friends beth just took it the wrong way but if they're together then towns is bye and you know good for him but uh not the smartest move to invite a girl to your room while your uh while your friend is uh about to come back and change but you know she's bummed about that she starts drinking even more you know they just it's it's just progressing constantly. She she talks about Benny Boy and how she wants to beat him at chess because uh, he pointed out a wrong move and he got in her head early. Like, I think he was just looking for people to show off to uh, for a little bit because he's, you know, he's talking to everyone. That's, that's kind of what he did at the previous tournament. He didn't go to play. He just went to be like, hey, I'm cool. I'm a, I'm a peace out now. Uh, I think he likes the, the audience um, but yeah, he gets in her head early. He's like talking about wrong moves that she did. So she starts st strategizing different things that she can do to beat him later. And then when they actually play, he catches her in, in some, some sort of move set. <laughs> I wish I knew about chess. I mean, I assume it's accurate to how chess would be played. Um, but he, he beats her and she's upset about it. But since he had two draws previously in the tournament and this was her one loss uh i think that ties them like the mom was saying they split the championship and the prize money um which she obviously is not thrilled with she she wanted the sole title she wanted to be known as like i'm top dog um and now she's not and that's got to be upsetting like that's got to be so upsetting like she's she's been riding high she up until this point she hasn't lost a single chess game yet like since since she started like beating uh mr scheibel and the the gross teacher from episode one like <laughs> uh as soon as she started beating them she hasn't lost yet until she gets to benny boy like she didn't even lose to dudley and uh now she 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 plays uh she plays jojen reed and he claps cheeks bro uh, he's a friggin', he's a super prodigy. He's clapping Russians when he's, like, eight years old. Um, yeah, and then they're leaving, and Towns is like, I'm sorry, you know, you wanted to beat him, also you wanted to make out with me, I'm sorry. And she's like, well, tell Butt Cheeks McGee to, uh, that I send my regards. <laughs> uh, the Lannisters send their regards, and she stabs him. Um... <laughs> no uh she's upset about it but you know i think i think she needed i think she needed a loss um her resolve will grow stronger um there was a little bit of tension with the with the mom at the end though when she was like her, i think the mom was trying to like maybe console her a little bit and be like we can we can keep playing tournaments it's fine like we're doing great and she's like you don't know anything about this she's like well I know what it's like to lose. And then she's like, yeah, I bet you do. It's like, okay, Beth, you need to chill. Uh, it was one one game. You're still awesome at chess. Um, she wants to be the best, though. She can't beat Russians if she's getting clapped by Benny Boy. Uh, <laughs> if she's getting clapped by Jojen Reed, freaking frog boy. Uh, 
Yeah, but then, yeah, her mom's like, well, now you know what it's like to lose. Uh, and now we're both sad alcoholics. How do you feel? <laughs> it's like, uh, she's a, a dangerous path this way leads. Um, um, one other thing we learned is that Beth is, um, she's going to be taking uh, Russian lessons at a community college, um, possibly. So she's so freaking good at everything, and she's so smart. Uh, plus she's probably 17, probably junior, almost senior at least. Um, so she is able to probably just take night classes if she wants to. Um, plus she's not like taking a full class set. She's just trying to take Russian. Um, so I assume within the next few episodes, we will see, um, maybe we'll maybe see, see a little bit of her going to college possibly. Um, you know, cause I don't think they're going to be spending the whole time frame of this show while she's in high school. So I assume there may be some time jumps or just like accelerated time. Um, and, you know, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Um, it'll be interesting to see how she deals with like the college atmosphere. Um, cause her mom specifically mentioned older boys, you know, she, she just talked to an older boy, almost kissed an older boy. Um, just boys, 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 boys. That's been a reoccurring theme so far in this show. Like every every episode, they have to make a point of of uh, of boys being there, uh, or bo boys being, you know, not just like, hey, look, it's a boy, but like boys. Like they have to, they're pointing it out. Um, so something's gonna happen eventually because of that maybe it's a red herring and and in you know she ends up with a girl who knows um because we didn't think towns was possibly by but who knows maybe now he is um interesting wrinkles that are that are coming uh, and i i like the show very much i'm glad you guys seem to enjoy it as well um it's doing very well on the channel thank you for the views thank you for uh the comments you guys are awesome uh, i love reading your comments, um, and like learning about chess. Some of you guys are teaching me about chess in these, uh, in these comments and I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of this, this episode specifically down below or previous episodes. Um, and yeah, 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 yeah. If you liked my reaction or if you just like this show, uh, please leave a like on the video. If you want to see more of my reactions to the Queen's Gambit going forward or any other shows that I do hit subscribe would love to, for you to stick around. If you want to see the full length reaction in this episode, head down to my Patreon. It's linked in the description. Uh, but otherwise, I will catch you guys next time. Peace.